And for more on this, let's speak to Arthur Butelis. He's director of the Brian Yorke Heart Center for Peace Operations at the International yep. Peace Institute. He joins me live now from the United Nations in New York. Uh, Mr. Butelis, thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. Now, I guess there had been a lot of trepidation at the UN about this uh, General Assembly, uh, which would be Trump's first, because we all know that President Trump has made some pretty derogatory comments about the UN, at the very least saying it was an underperformer to bog down in bureaucracy. How have you interpreted the past uh, few hours, the past few days, um, and what do you make of US-UN relations right now? Well, I would say actually that the US-UN relations are somewhat in a better place than they were back in January when President Trump uh, came into office. Uh, back then, I think, you know, there were threats of uh, massive uh, cuts uh, which uh, to the UN budget and specifically the peacekeeping budget that did not fully materialize. Uh, there were some cuts, uh, but much more modest than, than uh, uh, what they ended up being. Uh, and uh, also we've seen, uh, especially around uh, the Korean Peninsula issue, a North Korea issue, uh, the US uh, seeing value uh, in engaging through the Security Council uh, and particularly engaging with uh, China and Russia uh, with some uh, diplomatic successes for the U.S., uh, uh, particularly in terms of uh, uh, imposing uh, new uh, sanctions uh, through uh, dealing uh, with the, uh, uh, to, to the U.N. multilateral system. Um, I suppose what was interesting listening to Donald Trump's speech is that I mean, it was almost aimed at a domestic audience, even though obviously it's an international platform. He mentioned sovereignty, nationalism. And in a sense, I guess a lot of the points that he made in his speech almost go against what the UN is all about. Did you get the sense of, you know, that the fact that the two just didn't really gel? Yeah, uh, I think that's, uh, that's fair. Um, I think everybody uh, ex expected that uh, the speech of President Trump would be uh, about nationalism, America first, uh, and that was the case. Uh, it was also uh, quite a militaristic speech uh, with some strong words on North Korea and Iran, uh, as was expected. Uh, and indeed, that was uh, that ran quite contrary, uh, not only to the, uh, actually specifically to the speech that the Secretary General Guterres had made just a few minutes before. Uh, Secretary General Guterres you know, emphasized uh, the importance of uh, diplomatic solutions, uh, uh, the importance of dealing with uh, uh, climate uh, change, uh, the issue of migration and, and needing to, to deal with the, with the root causes. Uh, when, when President Trump uh, denounced the Iran deal, uh, 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 emphasized the need to confront what he called the rogue states, uh, North Korea uh, and Iran, uh, but also I think uh, I think the main the main issue was uh, uh, the vision of the world and and, and the importance of multilateralism. Uh, Secretary General Guterres emphasized uh, the relevance uh, of the multilateral system of uh, uh, of multilateralism uh, when Trump's speech was very much uh, about uh, nationalism uh, uh, in some ways. Actually, uh, President Macron of France. Uh, also uh, uh, contradicted, uh, uh, speaking after President Trump, uh, also made the point of the importance of, of multilateralism. And, and, and sir, very briefly, if you can, because we're slightly running out of time, but how worrying do you think it is that we've had President Trump express so many doubts about the UN when actually the US, as he repeated several times, is the main financier of, of the United Nations? Well, maybe to uh, moderate uh, my, my previous comment, uh, I think uh, the, the optimists would have picked up a few comments uh, uh, in President Trump's speech that were slightly more positive towards the UN. Uh, first of all, I think there were some positive uh, uh, comments on UN reform, uh, and that has been a surprise uh, of, of the last few weeks, uh, or last couple of months, uh, is that the US has actually led uh, uh, a declaration that was signed yesterday by 128 member states uh, supporting uh, the UN reform agenda uh, uh, proposed by Secretary General Guterres. And President Trump uh, was sitting side by side with Secretary General Guterres yesterday, uh, suggesting that 
uh, if the UN reform it might not be such a bad investment, uh, the return for, for money might actually be worth it. Uh, the other positive message I thought I picked up from President Trump's speech uh, this morning was about peacekeeping, uh, suggesting that uh, both the United Nations but also African Union peace operations uh, uh, are useful. Uh, and I think this, this is quite important ahead of uh, tomorrow's uh, high-level debate uh, on peacekeeping, uh, uh, and, and, uh, which will be actually attended uh, uh, by the U.S. Vice President. Arthur Batelis from the International Peace Institute, sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Now, still to come.